Coming up in Democast Media, I'm going to show you how to make a GIF using Snagit. G'day, it's Paul here from Democast Media. So uh, a little while back, I stumbled across this article from TechSmith um, it called how to make a PowerPoint presentation that isn't boring and it's a good little article one of the steps that I found quite intriguing was to harness the power of animated GIFs or inserting a GIF into your presentation so I thought it might be a good idea to show you how to do that using Snagit which is a really uh, convenient tool for screen capture in general and if you happen to be watching this in March 2020 you can get 10% off your purchase if you look into the description link and you can find that and, and take advantage of that offer. So what I'm gonna show you is how to record uh, the screen, how to dem I'm demonstrating how to use this uh, dashboard here and I'm gonna insert that into PowerPoint. So um, I'm gonna get the screen capture tool ready. I've got Snagit here in the taskbar. And from the all-in-one menu, I'll hit capture. And I wanna capture everything below the URL. So if I just click anywhere here on the screen, it's, I've set that region um, and it's set to 1920 by 991. So this is the, the dimensions. Um, and I wanna click here on record a video. So if I do that, it's initializing it. So as I said, I've got I've set the region, everything below the URL. Um, all the audio inputs are turned off, as well as the um, the webcam in this situation. So all I need to do is record, or you can hit Shift A. So I recommend you keep the steps to a minimum. So maybe three to five clicks. This is not meant to be. A, a full-blown screencast. In these situations, it's really just to show a few steps. So I've done that, and then uh, you hit Shift 10, or the Stop button if the menu comes up. So that went for about 25 seconds. I don't want to. I don't want to insert this just as it is. Uh, you may want to make some edits. So what you can do is splice it up and remove parts that you don't need. So um, if I hit play, this is what it looks like in the preview in the Snagit editor. So what I want to do actually is to remove parts, you know, from here onwards that I really don't need. So what you do, you move the playhead around and let's say you want to keep everything from the start to up around here. That's a, a seven seconds. If you use the, the colored um, tabs there and you let go, you, you have the option of removing that part of the, the footage. So I'm gonna hit cut. So I'm left with, I'm actually left with 10 seconds. So I wanna bring this down a bit shorter. So perhaps from here. Again, I'll hit the, the colored tab. Move that along and hit cut again. So that gives it about seven seconds. Look, that's not too bad. Let's let's go with that. And uh, so then you you've got your your footage that you want to use. Uh, now you want to uh, create a GIF. So you do that by clicking there, create an animated GIF file from this video. So from this menu, you'll see that there are a few ways that you can adjust the resolution, like how big it shows up or the frame rate, you know, how smooth it looks on when you play it back. Um, now, you'll notice here that we've got screen video, five uh, frames per second at 720p, high motion video, 15 frames per second, which means that that'll look smoother on the screen, but that is, a, it'll, it's, it's gonna come out with smaller dimensions. Then reduce size, this is the poorest version um, that you could get here, 400 uh, pixels per, or 400 pixels wide rather and uh, there's only three frames per second so it's going to look very um, choppy or you can customize it so to, to show you what this will look like potentially uh, I'll just click out of that uh, this is gameplay I recorded before and um, so this this was the original and this goes for, for five seconds 
this is what it looks like when uh, you do the first option. This is what it looks like on the second option. So it's smaller, but it, it looks a lot smoother because it's 15 frames per second. And this is the worst one at the, the reduced file size. 400 pixels wide and only three frames per second. Okay, so that gives you an idea. So large dimensions, five frames per second, slightly stop and start-ish. It's, it's removed a few frames there. Smaller dimensions, but 15 frames per second. So this just gives you an idea of what the output could look like. So I'm assuming that you just, you want to be able to have the largest possible um, screen size, dimensions, and the smoothest possible output. So I'm gonna recommend that we look at uh, the frames per second here in custom. So again, here's our seven second uh, recording. And when I go to GIF, I'm gonna choose custom. Now in here, uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna keep the dimensions just as they are. You could make it 720p, but I'm, I'm happy with the dimensions. What I wanna look at is to make it a bit smoother than five frames per second. I'm gonna go to 15 frames per second. I'm gonna be happy with that. Just bear in mind, that, I mean, you could make it 30 frames per second, and that will make it fairly close to um, the original, but it's gonna be much larger. And if you're inserting this into PowerPoint, that could create some issues for you later. So I'm gonna keep it to 15 frames per second. Um, I'm gonna leave enable, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Uh, and looping just means that at the, uh, once you, the GIF is actually animated, it's gonna keep going over and over again. And at the end, you can select this option here that at the end it goes black and then starts over. That just gives it a bit of a transition, if you will, but I'll just leave that unchecked. So with the looping set, and I've got the frames uh, at 15 frames per second, I can now hit create, and this will show up at the bottom of, of my uh, Snagit editor. And the, the handy thing with uh, Snagit is that everything you create sits there at the bottom or sits in a, in a library that you can look up afterwards, which, which is great when you need to, if you have ongoing projects, you want to refer to what you've done in the past. So the, the output shows up here at the bottom. I'll hit play so you see what it looks like. And it looks at the dimensions, I'm happy with the dimensions, and it looks fairly smooth too at 15 frames per second. I'm happy for that uh, to be uh, included in the presentation here. So I'll hit pause. And uh, now the next part is to uh, export this and make it available. You hit share. And one handy thing here is you can share this directly to PowerPoint. If I click here, you'll notice that I can either insert that immediately into a, a blank presentation or uh, put it directly into a document that you already have open. In this case, my college enrollment dashboard um, is open, it's ready to go. But let's say you, you prefer just to save it as a separate file. Maybe you wanna use it for something else outside of PowerPoint. Um, you wanna click File and it saves it as a GIF file. And you put it in a folder where you'll be able to find it easily. Um, but if I go there and I'll, I'll give it a name, um, online dashboard, for argument's sake, hit save. Now when I go to my PowerPoint presentation, I can do it like this. Go to pictures, actually this, this is the critical part here. You don't wanna do video, it's not gonna work properly. You need to insert it as a picture. Uh, and actually, let's, this is one that I created earlier. So I saved it as a GIF file. This is down the mat in that game I was talking about. Hit insert. And uh, it, it inserts it that way, but you need to insert it as a picture. I can increase the size of this if I want. And to actually make this work, because right now you're thinking this thing hasn't worked, it's static. You actually need to uh, activate the um, 
uh, the slideshow here. So I'm going to click from the current slide or Shift F5, and it's working right there. Um, so I'll click out of that. That's how you that's how you do it uh, manually. But if you'd like to actually insert it straight from Snagit, which again is is really handy thing. I'll go back to share, click on the drop down arrow and I'll click on my presentation there, college enrollment dashboard, and I'll go down here to view. Okay, so in this case here, um, it's it's taking up the whole, nearly the whole screen. I'm going to reduce that down. Yep, so in this example, I want to, I'll remove it from here, I'm going to click out of that go here I've inserted it there so that's how you create a GIF and insert it into PowerPoint and there's a few ways that you can do that so um, question I have for you how do you create your GIFs if you have any questions or comments leave it in the section below and if you enjoyed this video Hey, look, it, please leave a like. Really, really appreciate that. If you didn't, that's fine too. But any feedback is welcome. So thank you for watching. This channel is for anyone that's interested in, in visual communication tools and how you create and collaborate with others in a, in a much simpler way. Hey, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.